Now that we have an, uh, some idea of uh, the concept here, let's do a real quick problem where we are presented with two quadrilaterals and want to see if they're similar. I'm going to show you how you would do it by checking the proportionality of the sides. Um, we certainly could also check the angles. Um, we A lot of the times we're going to have to ch check all of that, but uh, just to make it quicker, I want to show you a point about proportionality of sides and, and a common mistake that people make, but, uh, but I'll, I'll do this fairly quickly. And so let's go back to the picture. Let's go back to GeoGebra. We've got two quadrilaterals, A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H. And then I've got these lowercase letters labeling the sides so that I can use the ratios, um, use the, the computer to calculate the ratios for me. Um, and I want you to just stop and say yes or no, do these look like they have the same shape, different size? Exactly the same shape, different size. Okay, hopefully you said no. And if we were going to measure angles, uh, maybe we'll do that at the end. Um, I would say I don't think the angle of ABC matches the angle EFG, which it really should. Okay, and also the angle A, uh, B, C, D, and F, G, H. Okay, but I want to focus on suppose the only information you were sure of was the side length information. Um, and what could you do with that? So um, let's start test testing. Let's, one way to test it is, um, you know, this is going to be kind of the second perspective um, that I showed in the other video, and that's focusing on the scale factor. If these are going to be similar, we're suspicious that they're not, but we're, I'm going to show you how you could be misled by a partial attempt at a solution into thinking it might be. Um, let's try to figure out what the scale factor would be. There should be one single consistent scale factor. So let's look at the left sides. Let's take F divided by A. Okay, and that's going to be, it's going to be able to tell that, to do that for us. F over A is going to be uh, 0.49, basically a half. Okay, so, okay, it's plausible. So if these are similar, I have scaled down the brown one by a factor of, of a half, it should be exactly half size lengths. Um, well, let's take uh, H over D, bottom to bottom ratio. Oh, okay, that's also, it's pretty, it's pretty, there's a little bit of uh, inaccuracy here, but yeah, let's say these are basically the same, 0.5, okay. Hey, that's looking actually pretty promising that the, I, maybe I really did just scale it down by a factor of two, okay. But this, and this is the mistake I, I see in this, is that people check one or two pairs and they're like, oh, we're good. You got to check them all, okay? Because I hope you can see these are not the same shape. The answer should be no. But if you just check, oh, H over D is a half. F over A is a half with a little bit of weird inaccuracy because of the computer doing this funky stuff. You might be convinced, well, I thought that was the definition. Like as long as I see some consistent scale factor. No, it has to be completely consistent scale factor. So let's do J. Ooh, that's not what I want to want to be J. <laughs> Whoops. I'm going to have to fix that real quick. I think I, I don't know. I think I just forgot to make a segment there. So that's going to be called something different. Okay. Whoop. What is that? N. Okay. Sorry about that. N over C. Let me see if that's right. Okay. Oh, that is not the same. 0.71. That is not a half. Okay, and you can kind of see, see, the C side did not get scaled down by a half, if you kind of eyeball that. And if I check K over B, I guess it's actually doing what I want there. Yeah, um, 0.37, oh, that's less than a half. So I do not have a consistent scale factor here, right? It's not true that every length in A, B, C, D was scaled down by a half, and that's corresponding to the fact that I really did change the shape. Okay, so I wanted to focus on that because I saw this exact mistake where uh, last year in particular, where I saw I, I gave two two polygons and I tried to make it not as obvious that they weren't similar. They weren't supposed to be similar, and people did an incomplete analysis of all these different scale fat, scale ratios and um, convinced themselves that they were similar when they're not. So watch out for that. Let's it's not. Let's just do a little bit more time. Let me just show the angles, because we really should check the angles as well. Now, of course, once I've seen that they're not similar, they're just not. Nothing nothing I would discover about these angles could tell me that they are similar when you don't have proportional sides. 
Well, let's just confirm for ourselves. This would have been a little quicker way. Oh, those, to those angles are totally not the same. 46.2 and 74.2, okay? They're just not even close to the same. So the angles, the corresponding angles are not congruent and the sides are not proportional, right? Notice that I can't just say, oh, e side EF, this little lowercase f, that's not the same as AB, lowercase a. They weren't supposed to be the same. The sides aren't supposed to be congruent, but they should be proportional by a consistent scale factor for all pairs of sides. And the angles, they have to be congruent, right? So that's another mistake people were making. Um, I saw last year, which is people thought, oh, maybe the angles should be proportional. Like maybe this beta angle here, that's a little Greek beta, maybe that should be half this angle. No, 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 no. Same shape means congruent angles. These had better be on the nose equal or else they're not going to be um, congruent. So that's two ways to show that two figures are not congruent. Find any pair of corresponding angles that are not identical uh, or find any um, pair, any two pairs of corresponding sides that are not proportional. That's a little more subtle, but it's something that uh, we've started to study.